First Call Festival is a communion. Now I guess the obvious question is, what does that mean? Well, it's a communion of professional musicians, artists and performers. It's a communion of great stories being shared and expressed through music, visual art and words. And the Thirst Gold Festival is a communion, a community, and everybody is invited. Thirst Call has been in my family for over 300 years and we were lucky enough to move up here in 2020. The aim of the festival is to bring a bit of culture to Thirsk um, and create a really lovely family day out. You know, we're very lucky to have lots of museums and um, cultural places in, in Yorkshire, but what we want to do here is set up more of a boutique experience where perhaps people who would come to Thirsk, um, who would come for a couple of hours, might actually spend a day or a weekend here. Um, and the tranches are split into three, so there's um, our interest in visual arts, there's our interest in music, and there is our interest in literature. Um, so this year we opened up Thirst Culture Park, um, which um, will continue throughout the years. Um, we're also planning a literary festival from next year. Now, one day, Peter awoke feeling adventurous. Early that morning, he opened the gate and he went out into the big green meadow. What's pleased me about the festival is just seeing family groups gather and go around and join and relaxing together. And the other side of it is just the stall holders and I'm sure the people walking around from local organisations just being so friendly and talking at each other and interacting with each other as though they're not just one organisation, there are no organisations that make a whole. Over three days we've had four fantastic concerts with repertoire that spanned over 300 years. We've shared the musical journeys with over 60 musicians and some fantastic audiences. The festival was born out of the early, incredibly difficult days at the start of the COVID pandemic. And now we feel really excited and confident about what we've all worked towards and built in this festival and the foundations which we can uh, carry on going forward. And as T.S. Eliot wrote, the darkness really does declare the glory of light.